Dr. Anjali has returned to India from London after two years. Despite everything being good in every way, she did not feel at home and comfortable there. Her family also felt a miss and did not like staying there in London much. Now, after returning to Kanpur, she has breathed a sigh of relief. She had come to her favorite Kanpur market to do some Diwali shopping. On seeing her, a lady accosted, Madam, I am seeing you after a long time. Maybe you shifted to England. How many days have you come to visit India for? She was overwhelmed. She was unknown and unfamiliar in London. Back there, no one had anything to do with anyone and here this lady recognized, approached her and has expressed affection. Dr. Anjali reciprocated with warmth and spoke to the lady. A little further, a gentleman came out of a big sari showroom and greeted her. Aren't you Dr. Anjali? I am seeing you after a long time. Where have you been all these days? She was also very happy to acknowledge Mahesh Babu who had recognized her. She also greeted him and added that she had done a lot of shopping for sister-in-law's wedding from his showroom. He was warm and thankful to her. I remember it. You gave my grandson a new life. My family will always be indebted to you. So said Mahesh Babu. He requested her to step inside the showroom and have coffee, please. <clears throat> she could turn down that respectful and affectionate request. The list of the unfinished tasks was thriving in her mind. But that affection, that intimacy, how can she overlook the loving manuhar and warmth that she always missed in England? While having coffee, she recollected Bhuaji's comments this morning. Bhuaji was surprised to know of her return from England. Hey Anju, such a great job, so chic, such a beautiful country. How have you gone back here after leaving the most coveted place and status? Whoever goes once, stays there permanently. At that time, she just smiled, but now felt like responding to Bhuaji. She felt like telling her, look at it, this is love. That's your identity, which was probably lost somewhere in the luster and brightness of London. No doubt, the streets in London were beautiful and majestic, but there was no one who recognized me and greeted with affection. Here, at every step, we have our own people. There is belongingness. After that, Dr. Anjali did not look back at London. She practiced her medical profession with a purpose where she would give the best of service to her own people. She knew the value of happiness and blogging. Friends, any country other than your own will remain an alien land. Cherish the affinity that you have with your motherland and spread brotherhood.